Dateline, Vancouver, June the 23rd. Good afternoon. This is Midweek with Nick Nicholas. Ian Woods, a friend of mine, uh, who is an investment manager in Switzerland, says to me, Nick, right now it's very simple. Just be in cash. Well, just being in cash may not be the only answer, but being in cash, a substantial amount, is good specifically in these volatile uh, times. But Millet, on the other hand, my broker, who is one of the smartest brokers I've ever run into uh, with Canaccord, uh, he says to me, Nick, there's always a market. And then we've got Dave Skarika. Dave Skarika is a technical analyst, but not just a technical analyst. Uh, Dave Skarika is one of those people that combines four uh, what he calls a, a quartet of security analysis. Number one is mass psychology. Number two is technical analysis. Number three is monetary analysis. And then he adds fundamental analysis. And uh, all these four make for some very impressive market calls that he has made over the last years. He is about half my age, but he, his, his brain functions are phenomenal. Um, he is one of those people that is very laid back, but gives you the real goods. In April, he sent me a chart, and that particular chart you will see now in front of you. That chart is basically the Dow from 1907 uh, in the blue, uh, overlaying with the gold with the uh, Dow um, uh, today. And you see there uh, on this particular chart, that on April the 2nd, the Dow basically followed the Dow in 1907. So on April the 2nd of this year, it looks like it's all the same. Now, one thing that, that David says, uh, it lines up with the uh, Dow Industrial Average bottom in 1907 and the uh, Industrial Average bottom in 2009. Um, that's very true. but you must be sure that all of these, uh, all of these charts do not uh, exactly follow history, so he cautions you uh, for that. The main thing that you can see there is that, uh, and I have been talking about this, that we would have these volatile days, and the market right now has come off into about uh, June the 23rd today and possibly by June the 25th. You see on the arrow, where it's approximately June the 25th. And um, I uh, look at the next 39 weeks, uh, which takes us then into March uh, 11, 2001, of the, uh, of the Dow and the S&P moving up. A matter of fact, um, uh, there is a good chance that the S&P by next spring may be into the 1300 level. So it's very nice to be in cash, but uh, you also have to be uh, invested in certain stocks. And right now, as Bud Millet says, there is a market, and the market looks like it is right now oversold. As I said last week, the, uh, the euro was oversold. And so from here on in, I think for the next, uh, uh, for the next six months, there's nothing wrong by buying into the uh, S&P as we see it at this particular uh, time. With gold, uh, as Dave Skarika uh, uh, suggests, uh, the UE right now is, um, is at around 477. He suggests that uh, when, when the UE breaks through 500 and 520, which are the main resistance levels, then really watch out. He also suggests that gold stocks are right now oversold. They should have a rally because compared to the physical gold, um, the, um, uh, the gold stocks should be able to catch up in the next little while. So yes, uh, you should be in some cash. You should always be in some cash. You should always have some physical gold. And, um, but you also should be in the markets uh, to, uh, to make some money. Uh, you should not be scared to do that. Uh, right now it looks good as far as the Dow is concerned. Right now, uh, maybe that gold may be retrenching a little bit. That's okay too. But you take the opportunity, when it retrenches, to buy in. And the same with the gold stocks. If the gold stocks come off a little bit, then buy into it because the gold stocks will catch up. 
Well, this was midweek with Nick Nicholas. So bye for now, and we always say stay tuned.